because me for me it was just escape leave <laughs> leave 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 the village my dad is the one who brought me obviously with pride he's bringing me to study the same thing he studied i can talk to him he even had the books some of the books mm. and you're telling me some have changed but cobol um, programming language is how you do it as in we would speak we had the same now speak <laughs> you know um first time in nairobi we land in tiru i had never been <laughs> <laughs> we land in Tiru me have packed huh? when i'm packing what my parents don't realize is i have no intentions it's a one way ticket yes <laughs> if it was for flight it is a one way ticket i am not coming back to this village <laughs> so i packed everything <laughs> so my bag was so heavy <laughs> we get to Tiru <laughs> you are my your life <laughs> I pack everything. Uh, we get into a room, to the room. Who's my father? He's an African man. He's like, this is your luggage. Carry. Carry. <laughs> Not the room to Hel Silasi. I crawled on to Hel Silasi. I am still small. <laughs> I, I said, okay, he saw me struggle. He saw me struggle. He made me carry it a bit. Then at some point, because now I was slowing us down. Then he told me, I will carry for you today. But I want to tell you. Never pack a bag too heavy for you to carry. You should always be able to carry anything you bring with you. And so from that day, me I pack lighto. <laughs> in case in case I'm told to carry your luggage. <laughs> so so in 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 reality, yes, but also I use it as in in any aspect mm. i only carry what i can manage mm. anything baggage me i i, I try and release it mm. by anyway so he helps me carry we go to kenya poli because he had been in kenya poli oh no you remember my friend pam the one who who i said we were with in kenya yes in kenya you it, see <laughs> yani okay. i'm so the global the global it, and it, the and it local keeps checking it's <laughs> yani <laughs> we were with in kenya yes <laughs> 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 like, no but let me just let me just I before you go into this pump thing uh -huh. I am I'm challenged. Uh -huh. um, I promise you like as a city here uh -huh. I'm challenged uh -huh. is my is my mentality local. Oh. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, I do. Is my mentality uh just looking at this content mm -hmm. and understanding that it is just for the imaginary borders that i've done mm -hmm. i'm looking at you and you're here just you know, uh, yeah, yeah. that's yeah be so powerful for me to see <laughs> okay go on so remember uh pam's dad at least he he had good positioning and he he i think he used to lead a college at the time mm. so what he did and this i understood the other day he wrote a letter uh for my dad which we showed up with in kenya poli for me to get accommodation in the Kenya Poly hostels because mm -hmm. it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. I think there were only 120 mm -hmm. hostels. You can imagine 120 hostels for all those Kenya Poly people. Yep, people coming from across Kenya. Yes. And at this point, Pam and Principal Nyaga, I just want to say thank you for supporting me. Wow. Yes. So with that letter we went to Kenya Poly. Then I was given I was assigned I was given the bit um to go to the hostels. But that is when I understood the difference of resourcing. You know, I I actually in in essence I had not failed. But for others they could afford to go to university straight, me I had to take different routes. Mm. But Kenya Poly was good. Mm. My mind was challenged. I enjoyed studying computer science. What, what do you mean you 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 say that thing again? Mm -hmm. You understood the difference of resources. Why do you say that? I say I understood the difference of resources because this was me getting into Kenya Poly while the others who actually had lower marks than me were showing up in USAU showing up in Dista showing mm. up in uh UN yep. uh, parallel studies yeah I get it yeah so they I, were starting higher than you even correct. though they had lower grades because yes. you didn't have yeah the resources mm. Okay so you get to Kenya Poly don't rush with this one okay. this is your first time in Nairobi yes what's that done for you 
this was your aim. You see, yes. you see your story, your story has wins and losses yes. in the same amount. Yes. Uh, the same. Yeah. So your your goal was to get to Nairobi. Correct. You're getting to Nairobi. Yes. What does that do for you? I was I was so relieved and so happy to actually be in Nairobi. And you know why Kenya police? Because it's in the center of it's town. It's in CBD. CBD, totally. <laughs> yep. We'll just, I would just get out and walk. When I went to the hostel, I, I found Edna. Yes. Edna. No, it's not Edna. I forget her name. How can I forget your name? Edna was her friend. I have to remember. It, I'll remember it will her come. Name. Don't worry. It does that. It will come. I'll check before. Uh... Gloria. Yeah, it's told you it would come. Yes. <laughs> we show up at the hostel. I don't know what to do. See, Your dad has gone. See, he will just drop me and yes, he needed to get back to the room. Uh, he, he, he just oh. dropped me and then he's a man. He's not allowed up. He's only ah, yeah, allowed yeah, up to yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kwaheri, yeah. bye, on your own. Yes, because you know, they, they do the female hostels versus the men. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The female hostels, you know where they are? Prime real estate um, community. Oh. Prime real estate. Community just... Uh, just near the roundabout on this side? On the left? No. When you get to... Oh, I get what you're saying. To the end of the road, when you get to community, you see where the courts are? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Between that road for the courts? Yes. At the end there of that road of community? Uh -huh. uh, that's where the Kenyapoli female hostels are. No dudes allowed? No, no dudes allowed. He comes down, leaves the luggage, then he tells me, now you're fine. I see, he hands me over to the metro and he tells me, do your best. And he goes. Gives you a little bit work. of money that you could afford. No, he left me with some money that I could afford. But you see, the hostels had food. Okay. Ah, okay. Yes. So okay. it was, and it was very good food because we had chefs and all that. Okay. Um, yeah. So he needed to walk. Because uh, him, it's walking. He's not speaking matatus. So he needed to walk quickly to the room. So at least he doesn't get back uh, very late. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, 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 and dad, dad, thank you. How could I not say thank you? Thank you for carrying my bag. <laughs> 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 yeah. Anyway, so so then he goes and I'm left. I, I'm shown to the room. We used to stay two in a room or uh -huh. something like that. Uh -huh. Yes. I go and Gloria, first friends. Gloria was new in, she had, she, she, she knew Nairobi. She understood I didn't know Nairobi. <laughs> Gloria held my hand. <laughs> crossing the, the road. Yeah. You know one-way roads. Ah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, the best yeah, way yeah. to know a shark's pass yeah, in it's this Nairobi? Cross. No. It's where they look at the cars. When they're crossing the road, they look both sides. <laughs> 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 so that's the best way to know a shark's pass. So that, that used to embarrass Gloria. <laughs> She's like, so, this is a highway. What are you doing looking yeah. at this? <laughs> She's like, Aki, Candy, you know, you're exposing us. <laughs> so I'm like, what's up, Aida? She's like, this road... Cars only come from, say, the right. <laughs> so you only need to look at the right. And that's when there are no borders. You yes. know, this time borders yeah. can use wrong side. Uh, no. So just look at one side. Others, when you do both sides, yeah. it is clear you're new. And then so fast you're, you're embarrassing us, but also you become a target for thugs mm -hmm. or something because they can see you're green. But anyway, so I really enjoyed. I, I enjoyed uh, my my first year. It was two years. I enjoyed my first year in, in Kenya Poly. And I was thriving. And I was among the top students. Did you, what now, what are you learning? Computer science. I'm doing programming on COBOL, on Pas uh, Pascal. I'm doing um, information systems. I'm doing everything. For real? Yes. So okay. um, the, the project you need to do um, is develop a system. So you need to code. I developed a hostel management system. It's, oh, I'm learning. <laughs> yes. I, I like that she's just throwing it in yes. like it's nothing. That's serious. Yeah. I mean, you are in biology or you yes. know, in all of these mm. things. And I get, yes, fine, it's uni, you mm. can start. But this is 2000. Yes, this is 2000. I'm trying to make people understand mm -hmm. just the elite had internet. Now. In 2000. Wait. I'm trying to be, paint the landscape of, you know what I mean? You, You've reminded me. I had never seen a computer, by the way. <laughs> So I had never seen a computer. I had never operated a computer. The first computer I operated was in the lab of Kenya Poly at the computer science department, uh, which I think, I think was the first floor. Mm. Ndongo Ngaruya, thank you. <laughs> he was from Nairobi. He was exposed. Mm. He's one who showed me how to close. You know how you close win windows or something? Yes. As in the X. <laughs> He's one who showed me how to navigate. 
from start. He was so patient with me. Okay. I was so green. I didn't know. And then the learning at the time, because we, we didn't carry gadgets with us, mm -hmm. the learning at the time was we would do a lot of theory. So we are learning these things, but we are learning theory, theory. because then you have access to the lab. Mm -hmm. So there was lab time. It's not if you're learning, like now if you're learning computer science, I think they do it all the time. You do everything. Exactly. You have portable gadgets and all that. So, and this is a foreign language to you? It is. Or had your dad teased, teach, he, taught he, you? Uh, he, he had a bit. Oh, he had introduced you? Yeah, he had introduced Okay, he had at least given you a soft yes, landing. Yes, he had. So, but you, are you, are you, here's, here's a very important question. Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying this? Or for you, right now you don't care, it's just we and going back to the village. So, whether you're enjoying this or not, mm -hmm. hey. It's actually both. Uh -huh. I'm liking the challenge. What I loved, which later I realized was not something to love, which is why I made, I, I, I worked something around it. I love that we were like, what, less than 10 girls in a class mm. of 60? And I love that we were the respected lot in, in, in Poly. People would say, no, that girl, because you know there were many, they're like, mm. ah, ah, that one, fear her. She's in computer science. <laughs> you see, yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying later on you didn't love because it's showing there's a deficit of, of women course. in, in, of in course, yes. Later this. there was a deficit and which is why I do something about it. But at that point, because what I'm looking for is to belong in something that others, it's not obvious for you to belong. Mm. I, I think we were even maybe six girls. I can't remember. I, I don't remember the real figure, but for sure we were less than 10. Mm. Um, yeah, I loved that bit. But then got in, yeah. But boys now? You know, now you're in a mixed environment. Eh? Actually, mm. minus primary, this is the first time you're telling me now there's boys. And these boys are not from the village, so. Yes. And Kendi, you're not uh, the worst looking. I you know. know. You're pretty, pretty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I was so reserved, Richie. Uh -huh. I was so reserved. So the boys were my friends. Mm. I was scared. I was scared of sex. I can say that. Mm -hmm. I was scared of sex because, ah, before I left the village, one thing, the one year, what my mother did, there's a young girl at 24 who my mother dragged me. We were not friends. We were not relatives. I didn't know her. My mother dragged me to the homestead to go and say hello to them and to go and say hi to her because she was the size of this she had come back, she had left and gone to the cities and come back sick with HIV. Mm -hmm. So my mother told me, come, you're taking me somewhere. So by the time I was showing up in Nairobi, the picture I had of the city, mm. you sneeze, you get HIV. You sneeze again, you get pregnant. Mm. Those were two things I was not going to do. Mm. So I avoided it. And both. sex had was the was the way to both of those. Correct. I get it. So I avoided. I had friends. Because there was no other way. I was friends with one of the other girls. Yes, one of the other girls. Uh, Mili, I believe. And then uh, the others were, were, were boys. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. But we were just friends. And we'd have... I, I, I have an easy... Because also of my mind, because boys could engage into in technical conversations. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It was an easier space for me to mm -hmm. to engage, to to be, or an uncomfortable space for okay. me to be. So you begin thriving. Mm -hmm. During the holidays, you're not going back home. Because this gap, this time. I, I did not go back home. Back at one point, the only time I went, I went. The only reason I went, you know, you're going for holiday for three weeks. Yeah. Okay, I would not go. Um, I only went to, because so that we can be sent. I would go for a week. <laughs> so at school fee can be sent. Yeah. Then I made friends with another girl who was from Nyahururu. So we'd do rounds going to visit. I would go visit. Their Nyahururu was more modern than yes, my yes, shags. Yes. So I would go, I would go to her shags and I would be like, I I'm not coming now, but I will come. Yeah. And then are you making money? No, I'm not. So it's so so your the good thing of Paul is what you said. Yes. Food accommodation is sorted. It's, it's, it's already 99% of yes. your life. Yes. Are you being sent money? Yes, my parents would send me money. Okay. Yeah. So, and which was which was a struggle for them to it do. It was a struggle. Okay. But then I would make it stretch, as in I would I would make it stretch. Give me an example of the landscape now from a technological perspective. Mm -hmm. This is 2000, 2001 yes. now. Yes. 
Yeah, why to get root? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But what what does that look like in Kenya that, or Nairobi? Yeah, Kenya, that, not Nairobi. Let's just say. Um, at that point, we are, we are focusing a lot of, on hardware. We are focusing on, a lot on what a mouse, as in the the basic. God. That is what was computer computer science. Minecraft. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes, and then diskettes. Uh huh. Um, CD was even a, a, a thing of so almost outraged. We have been taught about honey, artificial intelligence as though it's theory, but it was there. As you know, saying you could actually have artificial intelligence. So we're learning all of these things. Whoa. Yeah. The okay. theory of it or yes, the concept okay, the of yeah, it yeah, yeah. or what the internet is. Because it's then that I also opened my, because at the time that's when, the, that's when the internet was coming to be. Yes. So that's when I opened my Yahoo account. And at the time Yahoo was the main thing. Yes. Was hey. the main thing. yes. Remember Excite? Yes. Excite.com. <laughs> you know yes. those things, Yahoo yeah. school. Mm. Uh, Hotmail. <laughs> yes, Hotmail. It was either Hotmail or Yahoo or yeah. whatever. And yeah, so for me, uh, there was MSN. I believe MSN Messenger, yep. Yes. It was but MSN was under Hotmail. It was under Hotmail, yes, yes correct. It's it's important to mm. for the reason I'm having this conversation with you, mm. there's a generation that's born that only understands social media. That is a concept that wasn't mm. there. In fact, social media mm. was MSN Messenger. Yes. So you're learning websites are coming up. Yes. No, website was still it was still for the elites because it was still expensive. Yes. But then because I remember <laughs> Is Shemo Chodo had uh, uh, I think he's now Doctor Shemo Chodo, if I'm not wrong. By the time he had a, a business, he's one of the few who had started a, a computer business along Ngong Road. Uh -huh. So that's why I went for internship. But the internship was more hardware maintenance, uh -huh. and even knowing IT was more hardware maintenance. Wow! 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 Yeah. You are a day one. <laughs> yeah, as in it was, it was super basic, but also very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so your first year of poly was two thousand and two thousand. Two thousand. Then the second year was two thousand and one. Two thousand and one. Yes. This was only a two year course. It was a two year course, um, but remember, it was also a placeholder for me to do uni. Oh, in your mind, that's, that's... yeah, yeah. No, it was a placeholder. It was a placeholder for two things: to get me so that I'm not idle, to get me out of the village, but also as a route for me to do uni. Okay. Yeah. And as my folks figured out what is needed. Well, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, this internship that I just had you mention, you don't do it in this poly time. You do. You do, eh? You, you do it so that you graduate. It's part of it. Okay. Yeah. So I've got two questions. Mm. Number one is what's the dream? Or the dream, in fact, you've explained the dream. Mm. The dream is you're not even thinking career now. Mm. You're just thinking, I need to get into uni. Yes. So right now I need to get into uni. And what does that look like? I'm, I'm never short of ambition. So I went to my parents, I told them, I want to go to the US. <laughs> yeah. Nairobi it's, now is too small. Oh no, it's too small. Nairobi is the village. It's the village, bro. <laughs> it's too small. I need to go. I will go to uni, but I want to go to US and I want to go. Oh, and I know why I said that. I want to go to US or Canada because there was a concept. Remember back then, we would be sent, then you work. You, they only need to raise enough money. You go. Then you go, then you sort out the rest. Mm. I know that messed up a lot of people because it's hard to maintain the part-time working in the school. But from what we received from this side, from what we had from this end, that it was a viable route. Mm. So for me, that's what I wanted. And then when I made, when I, in, when I logically looked at what decision needed to be made, I understood if my parents could just, instead of... As in the, the parallel school fee was still expensive. Yep. I even applied to SIU and I was called, I applied to, as in all, all of that. But then the school fee was still expensive. So I told them, instead of going to USIU or going to UN, if you raise that the first year money, mm. that's enough to set. And then, because here I can't work yep. to offset my school fee. Mm -hmm. But if I go to the US, this is how, that's how I sold it to them. If I go to the US or I go to Canada, I can work. And that would be it. And I can also send money to bridge mm. for you when you're a bit. So they got on board my project. And so we started.